Hello, my name is Ingrid Johnson. I'm a master's degree in exercise physiologist here in San Diego, California, specializing in exercises for people with Parkinson's. Today, we're going to do a short little workout that's going to help your bladder function. Bladder issues are a common problem for people with Parkinson's for various reasons. One of them being that um, you tend to sit around a lot and there's not enough blood flow uh, in this area. So today we're going to work on the blood flow to the pelvic floor area as well as some strengthening exercises that you may not have thought of. So we're going to start a warm up with just a side to side stand. So I'm going to lift up the heel of one foot which shifts my body weight to the other side and then coming back. So side to side side to side. We'll do that about 10 more times. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And if you did this correctly, you should feel start to feel a little shift in your pelvis floor. Next, we're going to take a wide stance, your widest um, that you currently have available to you and we're going to bend the knees slightly. Slight bend of the knees, come back up. Slight bend of the knees, return. Slight bend, so we're basically, we're pumping up some uh, blood and oxygen through our feet, through the ground up. And so that's why the slight bend, so nothing very deep. So four and three, and two and one. We're gonna add to that a bow and arrow arm. So bring your both arms up and we're gonna go ahead and pull the arrow back and then forward and then pull the arrow back and forward. We're gonna combine these two. So I'm gonna go down, pull the arrow back. Go down, pull the arrow back on the other side. Down, back, down, and pull back. Down, pull back, down, pull back. Come down, pull back, reach the arms forward as you bend the knees slightly. Four, and three, and two, and one. Awesome. All right, next we're going to do a little lunge formation. So we're gonna bring one foot forward and one foot back, and the back foot you want to bend the foot so that the heel is lifted. So the heel is lifted. And once we do that, we're going to go ahead and bring our arms forward and we're going to twist. Small twist towards the back leg. So twist, come back, twist, come back. You see my knee is soft, but I'm not pushing the knee forward. So come back and twist, return and twist return and twist, return and twist. And let's put the other foot forward. Take as wide of a stance as you can and continue to always work on widening the separation between the feet. Lift your heel up, reach your arms forward. Good, so I'm gonna turn and come back. Turn, come back. Turn, come back. Turn return, turn, return, turn, return, and one more time, turn, and return, and come on back. Okay, let's shake our feet out a little bit. Transition. Okay, next one, I wanna do some pelvic curls. And the way pelvic curls are uh, commonly taught is just uh, bringing the tailbone under, tucking the tailbone, and that's actually not that great because it can compress uh, your lumbar spine and we don't want to compress it. We do want to elongate and stretch it. So a better way to think of this would be to think of your sit bones, the bones that you're sitting on. Uh, those you want to imagine internally, they are stretching forward towards your toes and then back. And so I'm going to lengthen the uh, sit bones towards the front and then come back. So this is not a tucking of the tailbone. It is more lengthening of the lumbar and come back. And good. good. And 
if it wasn't so hurtful, I would demonstrate how not to do it. But it is so painful, um, that compression for me, that I just want to continue to do it correctly. So you want to feel a lengthening through the lumbar spine and come back. And one more time, a lengthening and come back. Okay, next we're going to do some side bends. So side bends, I see a lot of times people just using the arms to uh, go side to side, but we want the whole body, we want that hip to stretch. Because right there between your, your hips are your, is your bladder. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Next we're going to do a weight shift with moving your eyes. So I'm gonna reach my hand forward. I'm gonna gaze over my uh, first and second finger there, and I'm gonna shift my weight onto uh, my right, so it'll be your left, left arm, and I'm gonna weight shift, turn my eyes, and come back. That's an inhale. On the exhale, I'm going to weight shift, turn my eyes, and come back. So I turn my eyes away from you, come back. I weight shift and then turn and come back. And um, if you can think of one more thing, you can also think of pulling the opposite toes and hip down. Super. Okay, let's do the other side. So I'm reaching my hand forward. I'm shifting the weight and turning my eyes. And so believe it or not, the eyes do have a connection with the bladder. Um, meridian uh, wise good and it's always a good idea to practice your eyes shifting shifting from front to the side by turning the head two more good and one more all right good all right so next we're going to go ahead and uh, place your feet um, further away than the hips but your toes are forward i'm going to place my left hand on my right hip i'm going to bend my knees slightly and i'm going to pull out like a sword and reach it up okay so down pull up the sword this is called pull the sword down reach up down push your hips back when you're reaching for your sword and lift it up high down lift up high down and lift and one more time pull that sword okay other side i'm going to reach my right hand to my left hip i'm going to pull that sword out of my left hip and reach it up and up down and up, down, up, down, come up, down and reach up. Knees slightly bent, slightly softened, hip pushing back. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Next, we're going to do a 90 degree hamstring kick. So I'm bending my knee 90 degrees. You can hold onto a chair if you like, and then pushing it back, bringing it into 90 degrees. So I see a lot of this, that's not 90 degrees. We want 90 degrees and back, forward and back. You can bring it further forward if you want, but keep that leg 90 degrees for hamstring activation. So four and three and two, and one awesome other side so i'm going to stand on one leg bend the other leg 90 degrees i'm going to push it back and return push it back and return push back and return push back and return push back and return push back return please and two Good. And one. All right. 
kick it out, kick it out. All right. So a uh, little cool down stretch here. We're gonna go back to our, where we started. We're gonna hike up the hip uh, to one side and then the other and see if anything has changed. If you feel a little bit more warmth in this area, a little bit looser in the, around the hip joints, good. And for sure your bladder is getting stronger with these exercises. Four, three, two, and one. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you again next time.